36-year-old Roger Federer is on the verge of bypassing Rafael Nadal as the world's top-ranked player. Although Federer hasn't been ranked number one since November of 2012, he's very familiar with the top spot. He already holds the all-time record by spending 302 weeks at number one. Roger will secure the number one ranking if he advances to the semifinals in Rotterdam. So we will have our answer by Friday afternoon. If Federer at 37 years old could end the 2018 season as the world number one, that would be one of the great achievements in any sport. So our tough call is, who will be 2018's top ranked player? Current number one, Rafael Nadal. Current number one in waiting, Roger Federer or someone from the rest of a talented field. That's the tough call of the week. All right, based on sheer odds, <laughs> it shouldn't be that tough of a call, but it actually is a tough call. Who is going to finish 2018? Roger, Rafa, or the field, really anyone else yeah. from the field. Lindsay, you get to go first on this tough Yeah, well, call. I underestimated. Did we flip the coin for that, by the way? <laughs> no, there was no coin flip. <laughs> that, that might be something we have to look into. I think into. I got here there was... before you, so <laughs> I was able to. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I underestimated Roger last year. After he won the Australian Open, I thought, okay, maybe that was his moment of glory and, and his age. I just don't see it happening where he's not successful this year. He's so smart at managing his schedule. He's so happy playing right now. Yeah. He's so confident. Um, he has the ability to still play at such a high level, but also have this great maturity, this great outlook. I think he knows exactly where he wants to play this year, where he plays well, what makes sense for his family. Seems to put a lot of thought in a lot of the little decisions. Um, Rafa, I just don't trust his, his health either. He Don't said, go into my team. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. His, his <laughs> knee. No, I'm going over the thing. And then that next generation, they're not stepping up on a weekly basis of challenging for titles. You look at Sasha Zverev. He's had a rough start to the year. I don't know. I think Roger's going to win at Wimbledon again. I think that he'll have a, a good fall. And I think he's going to finish one again. I don't see anybody else that, that's going to pass him. Okay, that's okay. A very good. It's a strong <laughs> argument. All you can argument. say is, Roger, you don't really have to say much and, behind it. And, I probably made it worse. No, <laughs> and I'm, I, I guess I'm supposed to put on my debate hat right now. So, But you, you want to pick Roger. But I want to pick Roger. Yeah, okay. But <laughs> I am going to pick, I'm going to put Ra Rafa and the rest of the field together. I'm oh, gonna cheat stop a little it. Bit. You can't do that. Wow, just, three options. Just when you thought you had all the answers, she changes <laughs> the questions. <laughs> Change the rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what, Roger's the healthiest. I mean, think about the fact that Rafa had to retire in the quarters, his knee was bad, and he struggled with so many injuries in his career. He's 31, and he's so strong on the clay, but I just don't know that you can trust his body throughout the whole rest of the year. He has two uh, slams to defend. Wait, I thought you were picking Rafa. I know that's why it's so difficult. I'm trying to. <laughs> Who are you I'm, I'm, how can I make? How can I? Make, okay. Djokovic has got the bad elbow. Mm -hmm. He's behind yep. in the rankings. So maybe Chilich. I mean, that's actually the one that might come forward. He's only he's yep. number three, and he's only 710 points behind Roger. Got to two finals last year. Seems to be getting better. Seems to be maturing. His consistency is what yep. I worry about. Um, you know, you got How about some, Grigor. Uh, Grigor, I don't know. Which I, I trust that consistency week in and yeah. week out. It's really a fascinating, fascinating concept to, to figure that. Try to figure this out in February. The one thing I do worry about with Roger is he's going to be 37 yeah. in August. Can he play the entire year, even with a shortened schedule? Um, you know, can he defend all of those points, Indian Wells and Miami, and of course yeah. Wimbledon as well. So. I'm picking the rest of the field, including Rafa. Yeah. You know what? I, I think as it turns, I you think to go first. I think as it turns out, it wasn't that tough of a call for you guys because you really yeah. both wanted to pick Roger. Yeah. Let's yeah. just be right. It's, it's okay. Hard. It's Valentine's Day. He's been dominating. You're allowed. You're allowed. Okay. okay. Let's go to the Wait, social. What did you say at the end? Just he's been dominating. Yes. Yeah. You don't see someone else challenging him every single week. And he's healthy. Yep. Yeah. You guys look. Get online and you can vote or comment at tennis.com or tennischannel.com. We'd love to hear what you have to say. You know, maybe. Maybe Roger can't defend all those points, and that's it. He's just out of the running at that point. Yeah.